Abide in Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Inspired by the Spirit, August 25th, Advice for the Leaders Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being ensamples to the flock. 1 Peter 5 verses 2 and 3 I am instructed to say to our ministering brethren, let the messages that come from your lips be charged with the power of the Spirit of God. If ever there was a time when we needed the special guidance of the Holy Spirit, it is now. We need a thorough consecration. It is fully time that we give to the world a demonstration of the power of God in our own lives and in our ministry. The Lord desires to see the work of proclaiming the third angel's message carried forward with increasing efficiency. As he has worked in all ages to give victories to his people, so in this age he longs to carry to a triumphant fulfillment his purposes for his church. He bids his believing saints to advance unitedly, going from strength to greater strength, from faith to increased assurance and confidence in the truth and righteousness of his cause. We ought to stand firm as a rock to the principles of the word of God, remembering that God is with us to give us strength to meet each new experience. Let us ever maintain in our lives the principles of righteousness that we may go forward from strength to strength in the name of the Lord. We ought to hold as very sacred the faith that has been substantiated by the instruction and approval of the Spirit of God from our earliest experience until the present time. We ought to cherish as very precious the work that the Lord has been carrying forward through His command-keeping people and which, through the power of His grace, will grow stronger and more efficient as time advances. The enemy is seeking to becloud the discernment of God's people and to weaken their efficiency, but if they will labor as the Spirit of God shall direct, he will open doors of opportunity before them for the work of building up the old waste places. Their experience will be one of constant growth until the Lord shall descend from heaven with power and great glory to set a seal of final triumph upon his faithful ones. Inspired by the Spirit, August 25th.